welcome to my class, Math Level 1. How are you today? Good. Better than you. Good, good, thanks. So, does anyone have any injuries that I need to be aware of? I have good. a shoulder injury. Okay, so with some of the shoulder stabilization moves, if you, and some of the shoulder, the arm movements, instead of lifting them up above your head, keep them either halfway or by your side. Okay. And avoid the plank position, just stay on your full point in position. Okay. Okay. Right, then let's begin with our warm up. We'll start with our roll dance. So place your feet on the mat, hip distance apart, slight bend in your knee. And you take a breath in. And as you breathe out, you're going to roll your body towards the mat as your tailbone reaches towards the ceiling, letting your arms hang down here. Take some breaths in and out, circle your arms. You can shake your head. No, yes. <laughs> Circle your arms, and as you breathe out, draw your pelvis towards your spine and to initiate your roll up and come back up, vertebra by vertebra. We do one more. Take a breath in, and as you breathe out, roll your body down again towards the mat, your tailbone reaching towards the ceiling, keeping your hips still. Let your hands hang freely here. Take a breath in, and out, and in. And as you breathe out, draw your navel towards your spine to initiate your roll up, lifting your spine vertebra by vertebra, your shoulders coming up, and then your head comes up, and then we're ready to lie down on the mat. So like that. So we'll begin by establishing our neutral pelvis and our neutral spine. So place your feet hip distance apart and your knees at a 90 degree angle, feet on the mat, hands by your sides. I recommend that you keep your eyes closed with this just so you can get the visualization correct for your positioning. So begin by tucking your pelvis forwards and backwards, moving it forwards and backwards and tucking and arching, warming up the muscles of your lower back ready for our session. And allow your pelvis to settle between a tuck and an arch so your hips and your pubic bone are on the same plane. You can check that you're in the correct position by placing your hands on your pubic bone and your hips in an upside down triangle shape and to check that you could balance a glass of water on here. Now take your awareness to your spine. Visualize your tailbone resting on the mat, a natural curve in your lower back, your ribs are resting on the mat, and you've got a natural arc in your neck. Now soften your chin towards your neck. This is your neutral spine. Now place your hands on your ribs with your elbows out to your sides. We're gonna begin with our breathing. So take a breath in to the back of your lungs, the sides of your ribs and your belly, and breathe out, relax your back, your sides and your belly. Take a breath in to your back, your sides and your belly, and as you breathe out, relax your back, your sides and your belly. Take a breath in to your back, your sides and your belly, and this time as you breathe out, squeeze the air out of your lungs, drawing your navel towards your spine. Take another breath in to your back, your sides, and your belly. And as you breathe out, squeeze the air out of your lungs, drawing your navel towards your spine. Now, keeping your pelvic floor lifted. Now, keep your abs engaged, your pelvic floor lifted, and just breathe into your back and your sides only. And as you breathe out, release the air out of your back and your sides, keeping your pelvic floor lifted and your abdominals engaged. Take a breath in to your back and your sides. And as you breathe out, keeping your pelvic floor lifted, your abs engaged, release the air. This is your Pilates breathing, and I'd like you to focus and concentrate on doing this breathing throughout the rest of the session. It will help you get through some of the endurance exercises. Okay, so now we're going into our pelvic roll-up. So place your hands by your sides, and uh, with your feet, turn your heels slightly out and your big toes slightly in. And if you squeeze, without moving your feet, if you push down onto your heels and your pinky toes, pushing them away from each other, this will activate your leg muscles. So take a breath in, and as you breathe out, put, imprint your lower back onto the mat, engage your glutes, and lift yourself up into, lift yourself up vertebra, vertebra, until you want to reach one long line from your knees to your hips to your shoulders. Breathe in here. And as you breathe out, slowly lower your spine down onto the mat, vertebra by vertebra, and release back into neutral pelvis. Take a breath in to repair. Breathe out, breathe out, imprint your lower back onto the mat, engage your glutes to help that 
lift that roll up, lifting the spine vertebra, vertebra up to reach one long line on the top, breathe in, hold, and as you breathe out, lower your spine back on the mat, vertebra on vertebra, and release your pelvis back into neutral. Now we're going to add arm circles, but flow if you keep your arms by your sides, um, whatever feels most comfortable for you. So take a breath in to repair, and as you breathe out, imprint your lower back onto the mat, engage your glutes, lifting up into your pelvic lift, breathe in, lift your arms, apart from flow, up and over behind your head, and as you breathe out, lower your spine down onto the mat, vertebra by vertebra, one at a time, release your pelvis back into neutral, and breathe in, turn your arms by your sides. Take a breath in to repair. Breathe out, imprint your lower back onto the mat and use your glutes to help you lift up. Lift your spine up, vertebra by vertebra, to reach one long line at the top. Breathe in, lift your arms up and over behind you. And as you breathe out, slowly lower your spine down on the mat, vertebra by vertebra, one at a time. Breathe in, release your pelvis into neutral and swing your arms by your sides about halfway. Now we're going to do our side to side. So use your abs to bring your knees and feet into tabletop. Keep your feet together and your knees together, a nice degree angle. We're going to breathe into repair. As you breathe out, we're going to rotate our knees to the right and our head to the left. Keep your left shoulder anchored. And as you use your abs, breathe in to bring your knees back to center. And now the other side. Breathe into repair, breathe out. Head to the right, knees to the left. And as you breathe in, use your abs to bring yourself back to center. I'll do one more. Uh, head, knees to the right, head to the left. Return to center. And turn your head to the right and knees to the left. Now slowly lower your feet back onto the mat and place them hip distance apart and your feet are in a parallel position. Now we'll do our preparation for our abs with spinal flexion. So interlink your fingers behind your head with your thumbs running down the back of your neck. Breathe into a pair and as you breathe out, curl your head and chest forward, lifting your shoulders off the mat, drawing your ribs towards your hips. Breathe in hold, keep your abs engaged. And breathe out lower. We'll do one more. Breathe into a pair. Breathe out, curl your head and chest forward, drawing your ribs as close as you can towards your hips. Breathe in here and breathe out, release. On the next one, we're going to add a twist. So breathe into repair, and as you breathe out, curl your inner chest forward, and twist your left elbow to your right knee. Breathe in, return to center. Breathe out, twist your right elbow to your left knee. Breathe in, return to center, one more on each side. Return to center, and breathe out, right shoulder, elbow to left knee. Breathe in, return to center, and breathe out, lower. Now, next exercise is our preparation for our hundreds. Um, place your legs out straight in front of you and your arms out straight behind you. Um, make sure you've got neutral pelvis, neutral spine, so chin soft towards your neck. Uh, your lower back's not overarching, it's in your neutral uh, pelvis. We're going to breathe in, slide our toes underneath, and as we breathe out, we're going to curl our head and chest forward, still playing, to straighten our legs towards the ceiling. Breathe in. Lower your feet back to the mat, and as you breathe out, return to the start position. Breathe in, slide your toes underneath, and as you breathe out, simultaneously straighten your arms and your legs. Breathe in, lower your feet back to the mat, and as you breathe out, return to the start position. We'll do one, um, two more. Breathe in, slide your toes underneath. Breathe out, straighten your arms and legs. Make sure you do your Pilates breathing here. Breathe in, lower your feet, and breathe out, return to the start position. Um, do one more. Breathe in, slide your toes underneath. Breathe out, straighten your arms and legs. Towards the ceiling. Breathe in, lower your toes back to the mat. And breathe out, return to stop position. Now on the next one, we're going to establish our individual hundred position. So, get ready. Breathe in to repair. Breathe in, slide your toes underneath you. Breathe out, straighten your arms and legs. Um, your feet towards the ceiling, arms by your sides. So you can either do your hundreds like this, and we'll be pumping five times, breathing in and out. You can, if you feel your neck, you can lower your head or interlink your fingers with your thumbs running down the back of your neck. If you feel your lower back, stop. 
If this is too difficult for you, then bend your knees in tabletop position. If you want more of a challenge, you can keep your legs low, but make sure your lower back's imprinted at all times. So now breathe in, drop your feet back to the mat, and then breathe out, return to start position. We're going to go straight into our hundreds. Okay, so are you ready? Sure. <laughs> breathe in, slide your toes underneath it as you breathe out, curl your and chest forward, and we're going to start our hundreds. Breathe in, two, three, four, five, up, two, three, four, five, eight, two, two, three, four, five, up, two, three, four, five, three, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, four, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, five, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five. If you feel your neck, drop it. Six, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five. Seven, two, three, four, five. Out, two, three, four, five. Eight, two, three, four, five. Out, two, three, four, five. Nine, two, three, four, five. Um, out, two, three, four, five. So I think you'll change your neck. Um, now, final one. Ten, two, three, four, five. Out, two, three, four, five. Well done. <laughs> Did a few extra pulses there. <laughs> Think about those abs. Uh, you can stretch your arms and legs out if you want. Bring your knees towards your chest. Uh, rock your knees back and forward. Okay. Now we are going to our pelvic roller again, and we're going to uh, do a transfer on each leg. So bend your knees again into a 90 degree angle. Your feet are hip distance apart with your heels slightly away and your big toes slightly towards each other. Push down without moving your feet into your heels and your pinky toes. Push them away from each other. Um, breathe into a pair. And just breathe out, rip your lower back onto the mat. Engage your glutes and lift your spine vertebra by vertebra until you reach one long line at the top. And as you breathe out, lower your spine down onto the mat, vertebra, vertebra, and release back into neutral pelvis. So now we're going to do the transfer. So breathe in to prepare, breathe out, imprint your lower back onto the mat. And lifting your spine vertebra, vertebra to reach one long line. Now engaging your left glute, lift your, breathe in and lift your right leg into the top without moving your hips. And breathe out low. Keep your hips lifted. Breathe in, lift your left and engage your right glute. Breathe out lower. Breathe in, lift your other one. Lower, breathe out lower. Breathe in, lift your left. Breathe out lower. Now, gently, slowly roll your spine down to that vertebra by vertebra until your tailbone is the last to touch the mat and release your pelvis back into neutral. Okay? Let's go into a rest position. Let's uh, put our feet together, our knees are apart, and bring your, hug your knees, bringing them towards your chest, and you can circle them to the right, uh, releasing your pelvis, circle them to the left, and then you can rock backwards and forwards. Now I'd like you to straighten both legs towards the ceiling, uh, lowering your left, we'll work on your right leg first. We'll do our hamstring stretch. Interlink your fingers behind your thigh. And keep your left foot anchored, so if you flex your foot, it will help you keep it, and keep it anchored and keep your position firm. Um, try not to scrunch your shoulders too forward. Push your thigh into your hand and your thighs into your hand to activate that, that hamstring stretch. And point your toes towards the ceiling for that uh, ankle stretch. Flex for the calf stretch, point and flex, point and flex. Make sure your hip, your legs are disassociated from your hips, so it's a 90 degree angle. Now, bringing your knee just to, to your chest, just extend the lower leg and push it towards you. Feel that stretch a bit deeper and release back into your full hamstring stretch. You should be able to bring it a bit closer. Okay, now we're going to our leg circles. So, breathe into repair, and as you breathe out, circle out and away from your body, and breathe in as you circle and lift back into your body. For two, breathe in, lift, breathe out, circle for three, lift. You don't want to move your hips, you want to keep it stable. 
seven, four, lift, five, keep that left foot anchored, lift, neutral pelvis, six, lift, seven, and lift. Now we'll reverse our circle in the other direction. So breathe in, circle out and away from your body, and breathe in, lift. Breathe that circle away, breathe in, lift, for three, lift, four, lift, five, lift, for six, lift, and seven, lower. Now let's lift our left leg towards the ceiling, uh, with your fingers interlinked behind your thigh. Um, bring that leg towards you by pushing your thigh into your hand, your thigh pushing into your, um, your hand pushing into your thigh. Keep your tailbone on the mat and keep your right foot anchored. Point your left foot and flex. Point for the ankle stretch and flex for the calf stretch. Point and flex. Now bend that knee into your chest and just extend the lower leg towards you. Feel that stretch a bit deeper and then release it full into your hamstring stretch and try and bring it a bit closer to you. And now we'll move into our leg circles. So take a breath in to repair and as you breathe out, circle away and across from your body and breathe in lift. Breathe out for two. Breathe in, lift, three, lift, don't want to move your hip, remember, keep it still, lift, four, lift, five, lift, six, breathe in, lift, breathe out for seven, breathe in, lift, the bigger the circle, the harder, breathe out for eight, and breathe in, lift. Now, lower, bend your knee and you can lower it back to the mat. Now we're going into our lunge combination. Um, so, if so, slide, slowly roll over onto your side, and um, go into a four-point kneeling position, and bring your well, your right foot. I need some more space. Bring your right foot in between your hands. Make sure that your your right leg is at a 90 degree angle and your, your foot is in between your hands. If it's too hard, you can put hands on either side of your foot. And then drop your right your your other side's hip to really feel that hip flexor release. And if you push down on your heel and your knee, without moving, just push down, you can feel that stretch a bit deeper as well. Now curl your toes underneath of the extended leg and lift. And now drop both hips back. Keep the tabletop back and drop both hips back to feel that stretch even deeper. Flo, are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Good. Okay, and now lifting both hips, straighten your front leg. Try and keep your hands flat on the mat. If you can't show it fully, that's fine, but keep your hands flat on the mat and keep your toes back. Okay, then go back into the lunge two position, bend that, bend that knee, and then we'll go back into a plank position. So if no, you can stay on fours. Now, first of all, before we go into the plank, you're probably going to get tired quickly. <laughs> Uh, drop to your knees and just check your positioning. So make sure that your palms and fingertips are pushing into the mat and your shoulders are slightly over your wrists to protect your wrists. And your head, your eye line and your hands should be like a, the, like a triangle. So your eyes should be the pinnacle of that triangle. Okay, so when you're ready, we're going to go into our plank position. So your feet are hip width apart, your ribs are lifted, your tailbone is tucked under, glutes are engaged, draw your navel towards your spine. And we'll hold here for 10, 
one. Drop to your knees, keep your knees apart, feet together, and go into your child's rest pose. Activate your arms, feel that stretch in your arms, your shoulders, and your back.
So put your feet together, knees slightly apart, put your hands behind your thighs, and as you take a breath in, and as you breathe out, soften your chin towards your neck, towards your chest, and draw your shoulders over your, your, nip, your hips, <laughs> over your hips, and draw your navel towards your spine. Breathe in here, and breathe out, release, back in to the starting position, straightening back up. We'll do another one. Breathe in, to breathe in, to prepare. Breathe out, soften your chin towards your chest, curling your chest forward, your shoulders coming over your hips, drawing your navel towards your spine. Take a breath in. Lift your feet off the mat, off the floor. Keep your navel drawn towards your spine. Keep your seat curve, so it'll help you keep your balance. We're going to roll back in the ball for our balance, control, and spinal massage. We're going to breathe in and roll back onto our shoulders. But with me, breathe out, come forward, keeping your feet off the mat for two. Roll forward, keep your head off the mat, for, uh, feet off the mat. Three, four, and lower your feet back onto the floor of the mat. Now we're going into our um, abdominal series. So, I don't expect you to do all of them, but even if you just do the first one, that's an achievement, we'll just monitor how you get on for our future classes. The importance of this exercise is that we're working hard on our abdominals and safely in our lower back. So if you feel your back at any point, stop the exercise. If you feel your neck, lower your neck onto the mat, or you can instantly your fingers behind your head. Okay? Ready? Okay, so now, uh, sitting back in that position, grab your, put your hands behind your thighs, and using your abs, slowly lower your spine down onto the mat, vertebra by vertebra, and get ready for your ab series. Ooh, okay. Bring your, using your abs, bring your knees into tabletop. Place your hands on your knees and push your uh, knees into your hands. Yeah, you can use the towel to feel more comfortable. Okay. Breathe in to repair. As you breathe out, I'm going to curl our head and chest forward and extend our right leg, putting both hands on our left knee. Breathe in, return to centre. Breathe out, extend your left leg, both hands on right knee, breathe in, return to centre. Engage your abs, right, breathe in, return to centre. Left, breathe in, right, breathe in, return, left, breathe out, return, two more, return, return. Now we're going to do our uh, double leg and our arms. So breathe in, extend your arms out behind you, your legs out straight at the same time. Breathe out, circle back to the start position. Breathe in for two, return, breathe in for three, breathe out, return, breathe out, four, breathe in, return, breathe in for five, breathe in, return, breathe out for six, breathe in, return, breathe out for seven, breathe in, return, and breathe out for eight. Breathe in, return. So, Barbara, you might want to lower your head for the next one, as for our hamstrings. So, straighten both legs towards the ceiling. And what we're going to do, we're going to just lower each leg so it's hovering above the ground. It doesn't actually touch the ground. Breathe in to repair. Breathe out, lower for one. Lift. Lower for two. Breathe in, lift. Lower for three. Breathe in, lift. Four. Breathe in, lift. Low five, breathe and lift, six, lift, seven, lift, and for eight, lift. Now bend your knees back to the top, interlink your fingers behind your head, with your thumb drawn down the back of your neck. Now we'll do our double leg uh, extension. Breathe into prepare, breathe out, straighten for one, breathe and return. Keep your lower back imprinted for two, return, three, return. Four, return, five, breathe in, return, breathe up, sit, breathe in, return, breathe up, seven, breathe in, return, and breathe up, eight, breathe in, return. Now we'll do our single leg uh, stretch twist. So we're going to alternate, rotating our opposite elbow to opposite knee, breathe in, prepare, 
Breathe out, extend your left leg, rotating your left elbow to your right knee, breathe in the turn to center. Right elbow to left knee, breathe in the turn to center. Breathe out, right elbow to left knee, breathe in the turn to center. Again, five, six, seven, and for eight. Well done, ladies. Breathe in, lower your feet. Breathe out and stretch your arms and your legs and enjoy a little stretch for a minute. We'll do our side to side stretch. So bend your knees, keep your feet together. If your knees are at 90 degree angle, feet together, knees together. Arms by your uh, sides, by your shoulders. Okay, I'm gonna breathe in and as you breathe out, drop your knees to the right, head to the left, keep your shoulders anchored and try and drop your knees to the floor to feel that side stretch and that spinal twist. Turn to centre, head to the right, knees to the left, really feel that stretch of the side, your feet. Turn to centre. One more on each side. Okay. And return to centre. So now we need to roll over onto our tummy and we'll do our quad stretch. So you can place the towel, you can rest your forehead on the towel for comfort. Okay, so keep your knees together, hands by your sides. Actually, put your, one of your hands under your forehead, that might be better, because we're going to use the other one to stretch our quads. So place your left hand under your forehead and make sure your knees are glued together and use your right hand to bring your right, grab your right ankle and stretch your quads, bringing it towards your bottom. Feel that stretch. And if you're flexible that far, you can lift your knee off the mat. If not, okay. Now swap sides, so put your right hand under your forehead, use your left hand to grab your right ankle and draw that foot towards your bottom to feel that stretch. So push into the hand and uh, pull, so a gravitational force. And release. So now place your hand into the ball pose position by your side. We're going to establish our neutral pelvis prone, which means our neutral pelvis but lying on our tummy. So push your pubic bone into the mat, Engaging your glutes. Put your, keep your knees lifted off the mat, but put your big toes together and keep your heels apart. If you engage your glutes, this will keep your neutral pelvis position for you. Okay, and release. So again, draw, push your pubic bone into the mat, engage your glutes. Ah, oh, that looks good. Barbara, I need to engage your glutes a bit more. <laughs> well done, and release. And do one more time just to check the below we'll do for the next series. It's really important that we're now neutral pelvis prone. So push your cube bone down into the mat, engage your glutes, knees apart, feet together, heels apart to open the same prone. That's good. Okay, and release. So we're going into our swan arm, so we stay in the exact same position. And go into your neutral pelvis prone, so push your cube bone into the mat. Breathe into a pair, and as you breathe out, Push down into your arms and your hands without lifting your neck, just lifting your chest into an extension. And breathe in lower. Breathe out, lift for two, just lifting your chest, not your head. Keep your eyes looking down and lower. Breathe out, lift for three. Breathe in lower. Keep your tailbone tucked under at all times, engage your glutes. Breathe out, lift for four and breathe in lower. So now the next exercise is our prep for our breaststroke. So I want you to swing your elbows out by your side. So you keep your hands in the same position, just draw your elbows out to your side. Make sure that you're in your neutral pelvis, pushing your pubic bone down, keep your glutes, glutes engaged. Knees lifted off the mat, your toes together pushing down into the floor and your heels are apart. So breathe into prayer. Um, breathe out, swing your elbows by your side, lifting your chest into extension, not the neck, your chest. Breathe in, lift your forearms. 
breathe out lower and as you breathe in swing your arms out to the side and lower back down to start position do another one breathe into repair breathe out swing your elbows by your side lifting your chest into extension breathe in lift breathe out lower and breathe in turn to start position we've got two more breathe into repair breathe out Swing your elbows by your side, pushing down into the mat, lift your chest into extension. Lift your arms, lower, and breathe in, swing your elbows out to the side, return to start position. Breathe out, swing your elbows by your side, lift your chest into extension. Breathe in, lift your forearms, breathe out, lower, and breathe in, return to start position. We'll do one more, just for good measure. <laughs> uh, breathe out, swing your elbows by your side, and lift your chest into extension, breathe in with your forearms, breathe out lower, and breathe in, swing elbows out and return to the start position. Now I'd like you to straighten your arms out in front of you, your legs out uh, completely. So place your feet in the parallel position, pushing your toes into the floor. Make sure your pelvis is neutral and keep your glutes engaged. Tuck your tailbone under and flow with this one, don't um, worry about sending your arms to the swim, so keep your arms by the sides. Okay. You can okay. just lift your legs if you want, or lift your arms by your sides. Okay. Okay? So breathe in to repair, and as you breathe out, lift your right arm, left leg, keep your head down, and stretch them away from you. Don't lift too high, stretch them, and breathe in and release. Breathe out, lift your left arm, right leg, stretch them away. Turn your right arm, left leg, breathe in, return, and the last one, breathe out, lift your left and your right, and return. You should feel like a rubber band where you, you go back into the original position. Okay, now I'm going to add a, an extension onto this. So breathe in to repair, breathe out, lift your chest and your right arm and your left leg, and breathe in, lower. Breathe out with your left arm, right leg whilst lifting your chest into extension, and breathe in lower. Lift your right arm, left leg, lower, and your last one on your side, put your arm in the leg, and lower. Now, come up onto your knees, and we're going to our child's, uh, place your hands by your side, come onto your knees, and we're going to our child's pose, rest position. Knees are apart, feet are together, uh, apart from flow, keep your arms behind you. Um, sit back onto your bottom to feel that stretch, keep your arms activated, to feel that stretch in your arms, your shoulders, your back. How are you feeling, Flo? Are you okay? I'm good, thank you. Good. Okay, great. Okay, now if you sit up, we've got our final section before our pull down, and it's all about our lateral sublet stabilization, our obliques, our abs and our inner thighs. So I want you to lie on your side and um, you can use a towel to for comfort. Underneath, you can either, you can have your arm extended like this and place the towel underneath your, in between your neck and your shoulder. I personally prefer to keep my elbow bent like this for more comfort, but you can do whatever works for you, okay? So can everyone see? <laughs> okay, so just take it away, this is your position right now. So drop your left shoulder back, your top shoulder back, <clears throat> and place that supporting hand in front of your chest. Make sure your feet are slightly in front of your hips to protect your lower back as well. We're gonna do our side lifts here. So we're gonna breathe in, and as we breathe out, lift your legs, and breathe in lower. Breathe out, lift for two, breathe in lower, lift for three, breathe in lower, lift for four, lower, lift for five, lower, lift for six, lower, lift for seven, lower, and lift for eight, lower. Um, keep them, actually lift them back up, we'll do our top leg now as well. So, Breathe in, lift your top leg, breathe out, lower. Breathe out, lift, breathe in, lower. Breathe out, lift, breathe in, lower. Four, lower, five, 
lower to six, lower and seven, lower and for eight. No, keep your legs lifted. We'll do the, um, off the underneath now for our abs bar. Breathe the lower for one, breathe out lift. Lower for two, breathe out lift. Lower for three, breathe out lift. For four, lift. Five, lift. Six, lift. Seven, lift. And for eight, lift. Now lower your feet back onto the mat and slowly lift your body up and come into your, um, we'll do our side kicks. Keep your side waist lifted at all times during these exercises as well, okay? So make sure your shoulder is slightly uh, under, your elbow is underneath your shoulder, your hand is uh, resting in front of you. And we're going to do our side kick. I might kick you actually, so I might have to move up a bit. So externally rotate your thigh. Uh, so rotate the thigh so that your to toes are pointed towards the ceiling. And as you breathe in, swing it to the front in line with your hips and breathe out. Uh, point your heel towards the ceiling and turn. Breathe in and breathe out. Keep your side waist lifted. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Five, six, and for seven, and one more, eight, okay, lower, lower back onto your side, and now we've got our, um, oh, simple leg, leg, leg lift and off circles, so, Bend the underneath leg so that the foot is in line with your hip to the bottom. Make sure your hips are stacked, your side waist is lifted. Um, rotate your leg so that your thigh, so that it's, your toes are pointed down and your heels towards the ceiling. I'm going to breathe and lift, breathe out, lower. Breathe and lift, lower. Breathe out, lift, breathe and lower. Breathe out, lift. Four, lower, five, lower, three that lift, lower, seven, lower, and keep it up, we'll do our leg circles now. So breathe in, and breathe that circle out, breathe in, lift, breathe that circle for two, breathe in, lift, breathe that circle away for three, breathe in, lift. Four, breathe in, lift, breathe out, five, make sure your side waist is lifted, lift, toes are pointing down, lift, seven, lift, and for eight, keep it lifted, now we're going to reverse circle the other way, breathe out, circle out, breathe in, lift, breathe out, circle away, breathe in, lift, three, lift, four, literally feel your glute burning now, five, lift, <laughs> Six, lift, seven, lift, and eight. Look, you can give yourself a little smack on the thumb to be a good girl. <laughs> now we'll do our clam series. So bend both legs so that your knees are in line and your feet are in line with your hips or your bottom. So push the yeah, bar, push them back a little bit. And you can use your hand to push onto your hip to push forward to keep you in place. So we're going to breathe in open for one. Breathe out for two. Breathe out three. Breathe in close for four. Breathe in close. Breathe out five. Breathe in close. Six. Close. Breathe in for seven. Close and breathe out. Eight. Breathe in. Close. Now extend your underneath leg and um, put your foot on top of your extended leg and close it into a clamp because we're going to do the clamp two now. 
So you can now, if you can't support your weight, you can put your hand in front of your chest again, because it's quite difficult, flexor stabilization. Okay, breathe in, open. Breathe in, breathe in, lift. Breathe out, open. Breathe in, lift. Breathe out, open. Breathe in, lift. Four. Lift. Five. Lift. Six. Lift. Seven. Do that lift. And for eight. Now, keep closing your clam back here yeah? and going to add an extension. Breathe in, open. Breathe out, extend. Bend and close. Breathe out, open. Breathe in, extend. Breathe out, bend. Breathe in, close. Open, extend. Bend and close. Open, extend, bend, close. I think one, six. Open, extend, bend, close. Open, extend, bend. So we do one more for good measure. Open, extend, bend, and close. Now give yourself a little snap on the bottom. Roll over onto your back and draw your... <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, draw your uh, working leg onto the top of your knee for your for your glute stretch. Keep both feet flexed. Draw that knee towards your chest. Keep your tailbone on anchors. Okay. That's good. Everyone's got their stretch on. Everyone's got their stretch game on. Very good. I don't need to correct anyone. Okay. So now we're going to do the other side. Okay. So I will turn over to this side. <laughs> okay. So we'll begin with our side lift. So let's establish our position. Let's start from the top. So you've got the towel underneath your head, resting in between your neck and your chest. The side waist is lifted. And if you look down, you should see your feet slightly in front of your hips. Place your hand in front of your chest for support and drop your um, shoulder, your back shoulder. Okay? Breathe into repair. Breathe out, lift. Breathe in lower. Breathe out, lift. Breathe in lower. For three. Lower. Four. Lower. Five. Lower. For six. Lower. Seven. Lower. And for eight. Stay lifted. Now do our top leg. Lift for one, lower. Breathe out, lift for two, breathe in, lower. Three, lower. Breathe out, four, lower. Breathe out, five, lower. Six, lower. Seven, lower. And for eight, lower. Keep your legs lifted. Now we'll do the uh, underneath leg. Breathe in, lower for one, breathe out, lift. Two, breathe out, lift. Three, Working out your thighs, lift four, lift five, lift, keep your sideways lifted, lift seven, lift one more, and eight. Lower your feet back down to the mat, and I want you to come up on your elbow, on your forearm, elbow, forearm. Put your elbow underneath your shoulder, make sure your sideways is lifted. And now we'll do our um, side kicks. So lift your leg and internally rotate it. Point your toes towards the seat, that's what you need to remember. <laughs> um, breathe in and bring your leg in front of your hips. And as you breathe out, rotate your thigh back. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Before. Turn five, keep it parallel with your hip, don't lift too high, too low. Turn <clears throat> for six, turn seven, turn and four, eight. Return, okay? Now lie back down on your side and bend your underneath leg at a sort of 90 degree angle, line with your hip and your foot underneath your bottom, keep your side waist lifted, hand in front of your chest, draw your uh, supporting hand shoulder back so it's not hunched forward, 
Uh, externally, rotate your thigh towards you, so your heel is towards you, your toes are pointing down. Breathe in, lift, breathe out, lift, breathe in, lower. Breathe out, lift for two, breathe in, lower for three, lower four, lower five, lower six, lower seven. Everyone's position is really good, lower and for eight. Lower. Uh, now we'll do our circles. So lift again, breathe in, lift, and breathe out. Circle away and breathe in, lift. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep it lifted and circle the other way. Keep your sideways lifted. Three. Breathe in, lift. Breathe out, four. Circle, breathe in, lift. Five. Keep sideways lifted. Six. Lift. Seven. Lift. And eight. Okay, give yourself a little smack on the bottom. <laughs> okay, now we'll do our clamps. So bend both legs. Place your feet in line with your hips and your bottom. You can put your hand on your hip and push into it so that you keep your position. Okay, everyone ready? Breathe into repair. Breathe out over the one. Breathe in close. We keep sideways lifted. For three. Doesn't matter if you can't go too far back as long as you're feeling in your glute. Don't make sure your hips aren't moving. Four. Five, six, seven, and eight. Now extend the underneath leg. I love your leg. <laughs> extend the knee underneath leg and keep the top one bent with your foot on top of your knee. On your extended knee. Okay, return it to the clamp position. Okay, we're going to breathe into repair and breathe out open for one. Breathe in, close. Keep it sideways lifted. Open for two. Breathe in, close. Breathe out open for three. Breathe in, close. Four. Close. Five. Close. Six. Close. Keep your toes pointed. Seven. Close. And eight. Close. Now we're going to add an extension. Give yourself a little smack if you want a little shake. Final leg, final side, almost done. <laughs> okay, breathe in, open. Breathe out, open. Breathe in, pair. Breathe out, open. Breathe out, extend. Breathe in, bend. And close. Open, extend, bend, close. Open, extend, bend, close. For four, extend, bend, close. For five, Extend, bend, close, six, extend, bend, close, for seven, extend, bend, close, and for eight, extend, oh. feel the difference. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> your body is helping your cheek. Let's so fix up your smack, run onto your back, and give yourself a nice glute stretch on the leg you were just working. Draw that thigh towards your chest, flex both feet. Draw it towards as close to your chest as possible. You can stand now, almost done. <laughs> We've got the, um, the seal puppies to do and, and one rolled up. So come to the end of your mat. Uh, bring your, thread your arms through your legs and grab your ankles and lift your feet perpendicular to you uh, off the floor. Go to your sea curve and we breathe in. We're gonna roll back onto our chest and breathe out. Come forward. Keep your head off the floor, mat, and your feet off the floor. For two, it's our spinal massage, balance and control. Three. Are you okay, Phil? <laughs> Four. You feel like a child again. <laughs> yeah. Five. It's fun actually. It's good to do that again. Six. Get the blood circulation going in my brain. Seven. 
And one more. No, no, you be sad. The last one. <laughs> Eight. Okay. Let's do a roll down and we're done. <laughs> okay. Let's stand on our mat. Feet are hip distance apart, slight bend in your knee. Take a breath in. And as you breathe out, you're going to roll your body down towards the mat. Let your arms hang freely. Your tailbone, keeping your hips still, and your tailbone is reaching towards the ceiling. After this session, you should be able to put your hands flat on the mat. Okay, she's joking. But you should be able to reach a bit closer. Take a breath in down here, and out, and in. Shake, circle your arms if you want, but flow, be careful. And just take a moment to be grateful for the day we've got and the day we've got ahead of us. And while my head's upside down, I'll say thank you for being involved in my class. Take a breath in. And as you breathe out, draw your navel towards your spine to help initiate the roll up. Lifting your spine up, vertebra up by vertebra, one at a time. Shoulders come up, head comes up, and they're done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.